Hello everyone, join us today as we get to test drive the new Cadillac Lyric. Hello everyone, welcome to the Cadillac Lyric. Uh, this is, at this point at least, still GM's uh, halo car until the hand-built Celestique is available. I haven't had the pleasure of driving it and um, wanted to see what it's all about. Uh, you know, this same platform is gonna be uh, in the Equinox. It's also in the Hummer or the Silverado EV. So it's a, it's a modular uh, setup. And I uh, literally just started driving it. Um, it's very, very smooth. Uh, I, do, I do like that. It is on Crete mode. I, I, I'm not sure if that can be turned off. There's different uh, region settings. Uh, I'm not sure how to, okay, so that just, you just squeeze it to, to apply the, the regen. So if you wanted to, so it's quite aggressive when you when you squeeze uh, that. Um, so yeah, let's get out on the highway just a minute and see how how it goes. I will say the dealer was very nice, but not extremely knowledgeable uh, about these. Not with withstanding the fact that they had forty uh, in stock. The color's red. I don't know exactly what um, you know they call it. The interior, it's very nice. Um, again, this is extremely, extremely smooth. Fun to drive. But we'll see about that. Yeah, I'm not sure where you adjust the modes or anything like that. I will say my first impression of this giant screen, it's cool, but I don't have, I can't see it all. I mean, so, like the, the time and the date is cut off. I can barely see all of this. So it's a very odd um, angle. So in other words, it's straight up, but I, even though I've adjusted the steering wheel, you'd almost have to drive it like a bus to be able to see everything. So I think that's a little odd, um, but yeah, so far, so good. This must be the dual motor. The salesman didn't know, but it's definitely got punch. It only has, I don't know what to say the charge is, but it's down to 98 miles, I believe, or 119, whichever. All right, let's, uh, let's try this again. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, I'm assuming this is the, the range over here. I, I'm not sure. Okay, let's see if we can try uh, Super Cruise here. So turn that on. Turn that on. Turn on adapted. Set. Then turn on. There we go. All right, so look, Ma. No hands. So you do have to set the speed. So let's go up to 70. And I understand it will change lanes for you. So let's let's try that out here. It would do it automatically, I'm, I'm assuming if we had a, oh, look for an opening, it is doing it automatically. All right, this is slick. You like that? I do like that. So it's infrared, so it'll also work with, that's what this is seeing here, so I can also wear sunglasses. And it will know, you know, what's going on. It's pretty quiet, pretty quiet. There's some buttons over here, it looks like. Oh, on the screen? Yeah. Is that a touch screen? It is. thing on it here so I can't do everything but and that's the thing it's it's doing it as long as you're looking ahead yeah whatever and so this blue cruise only works 
in a in a pre-mapped area. Is that so? Correct? This is yeah, a Cadillac Super Cruise. Super Cruise. Uh, I, I understand it being a bit confusing because it's just like more, but yeah, it works the same way. Um, it has to be pre-mapped. Uh, though there's most, my understanding, most of the interstates are, and they're adding to it all the time. Looks like it does have a 360 degree camera. Oh, it's vibrating my rear, telling me I'm getting close. This gear shifter is, uh, you have to go in and, out and down, which is different than what I'm used to in, in Teslas. Yeah, should do. Park. Oh, it's got that GM sway once you put it in park. Oh, it's amazing. I still have that. Uh, all right, so if I wanted to leave the air on while I get out of the car, how would one do that? Can you do that? Well, it's got a power button, so let's just get out and see what happens. Maybe I'm getting older. I kind of like the looks of this. And I do like the design. It does look different. The darker colors seem to look better in the rear. I know this may make no sense, but the darker colors seem to look better um, than the lighter colors. Uh, let's look and see. Let's look at the sticker. Yeah, all wheel drive, $3,500 option. Got plenty of pep. Um, great on the interstate, very quiet. Um, it's got a heat pump, it's got on route battery preconditioning. But I like the color. What's uh, it called? What's that? What's the color called? Oh, what is the color called? That's a good question. So this is Lyric Sport 2 Radiant Red Tint Coat with Sky Cool Gray interior with ventilated seats, which is really nice. A uh, sticker on this um, is $72,610. So, uh, but you can already find these used for a song. So, uh, yeah, I like it. No frunk, if, you, if you're a frunk fan, you're out of luck. There is no frunk on these. Let's look at the back though, it might be interesting. for a cable or two down there. That's cool. And I guess you can drop the seats here. Yeah, I mean, that's this isn't class leading. Let's look at the back seats. You know, the back seats are more comfortable than the front seats. Maybe that's a Cadillac thing. The front seats are okay. They're certainly wide enough, but they're quite firm, wouldn't you say? Yes, they were very firm. The big, uh, big moonroof here we have covered. Uh, you have to try the radio out on the way home. I mean, everything is soft. Did you find some settings? Yeah, so apparently this, so lumbar, I, I can't really stand any lumbar. So if you twist this and then start adjusting, it doesn't, you can't let it out. But yeah, the, it's very cushioned, very bolstered, or, you know, doesn't give much on the spot and part of the seat. Mm -hmm. the, the back seats did seem to give more. Um, so let's see if we can route Find, find our way, so let's touch home. And then maps. No, this does, I stand corrected. You can do Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now that does stand in contrast to the Chevy products, which you cannot. So I guess if you want to buy an Ultium product and you want also want to have Apple CarPlay, you can do this uh, as well. So let's see, so if we go to maps, now it is based on Google. Is it gonna let me?
Okay, well, maybe it has to be signed up for... There's no navigation? Doesn't appear to be. So what do you think about the Lyric? I like Super Cruise. Um, I, you know, the range is good. I understand the charging isn't that stellar. We haven't, it'd be nice, to, it'd be worth renting one just to see what we think. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's very comfortable to drive. It's not, I mean, we'll, we'll try to find a curvy road around here. I, I don't know, but I can't imagine that it's a dynamic, uh, something that's gonna be all that fun to drive, you know, in the twisties. But for a road tripper, um, with 300 miles, uh, you know, around 300 miles of range, with the, the dual motor, plenty of power. I mean, I don't know why you would need more power than this. It was it was very punchy. Even at a low state of charge, which is what, where we are. I'm not sure why it doesn't show me the percentage. Is that a GM Ultium thing that it doesn't show you the percentage or do I not, not know what I'm doing? I very much do not know what I'm doing, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not completely sold on the seats. Um, you know, I'm sure, you know. I'm sure they would need some adjustment, but... Um, yeah, maybe it is just a matter of adjustment, but... They're I, quite firm. They are very firm. Um, I'm not... <clears throat> I'm not initially loving them. Perhaps I just need to adjust it differently. Just wrapping up my final thoughts on the Cadillac Lyric after just a short uh, test drive. Uh, I would think it's worth a little more uh, exploration uh, for sure. At this point, I really like the way, it, how smooth it was on the highway. I would think it'd be a great road tripper um, if they could improve the charging a little. What I've seen is that the charging isn't that uh, great either. So yeah, I, I personally wouldn't completely rule it out for myself. Um, it just depends on whether you're one a comfy highway cruiser or something that also has a little bit of fun with it and that is where it lacks a little bit. I would also like to try a Super Cruise more because while using it on the interstate, it worked absolutely great. So that also deserves, I think, a little more exploration. But I wanna thank you for watching if you've made it this far. And, and if you have, please uh, consider subscribing and, and liking our content. We'll continue to bring um, our expertise from driving uh, EVs for, uh, you know, four years now. And uh, we will see you on the next one.